Hello, my senior, senior friends. Do you remember last time we were studying? Well, we were discussing John's story. Yes. John's story and the, what is the topic? What is popular culture? Popular culture. Simply. So, our definition, we have seen points like uh, definitional problems. Then we saw the three definitions of culture given by culture guru, the, that is Raymond Williams. And afterwards we saw the ideology, how ideology is connected to uh, cultural studies. Or as we say, uh, the ideology, or you can say British cultural studies can, be, can as well be restated as British ideological studies and the five definitions of ideology also we saw, isn't it? What are the five definitions of ideology? You know, I think I need not repeat and waste my time. So we pass on to the next item in that essay. Next point that is the four meanings of popular given by Williams. Okay? Raymond Williams. The four meanings of the four meanings of popular popular as given by Raymond Williams okay so the first point the first meaning he says is well liked by people if people like it's okay liking liking is one if you see that there is a film and the thousands of people are going for that there's a box office hit then that means it is a popular film understand now the second is second point of liking is the uh, sorry uh, popular popular culture is what do you call comparatively popular means inferior something inferior as opposed to classical it's a classical it's a classical language <laughs> classical culture is so it's a, it's a kind of inferior culture that is these are the meanings given by liking like culture liked by many an inferior culture. When you compare this to the so-called high culture, Madhya Pradesh said the popular culture is anarchy. <laughs> That's what he said. It's anarchy, he says. Understand? So that is inferior culture, right? And our third meaning is that is this is given by Raymond William. That is do something to make things popular. Some special thing. Some special. Do something special. Something special to make popular. Special to make popular. And that is, for example, you will find films, you know, especially commercial films, you will find there is a set formula to make to make others, to attract others to watch this film. Like for example, there is a stand is there, there is uh, maybe sometimes a rape scene, or then sometimes a bathing scene, or sometimes it may be a, what do you, what do you call a boating, see, such kind of things you will find now. And that is actually it's a formula. It's for making a thing like by others, or making it popular, so this. Understand? Or sometimes you will find uh, in the midst of a, say, in between, there is a meeting going on, a very serious meeting going on, but there will be a kind of a short concert or something or a drama presentation, then that's for making this program uh, liked by others. So some people you do, we do that, no? Yes. And then the fourth point is people's culture, people's, produced by people, people's culture, or culture produced by people. So like for example, you have got a feast, so feasts are there, festivals are there, some people make it like that. See for example, Probably this is local culture or uh, local, local cultural forms like delicate. This not you don't find everywhere. It's only in confined to a place in Tamil Nadu, isn't it? There's bullfight in Spain. So these are local cultures, people's cultures for them to enjoy or to understand so. Okay. So today the first point is we have already seen uh, one, two, three points. Now we have seen the fourth one that is the four meanings of popular. Uh, given by uh, Williams. These are meanings given by Raymond Williams. 
Raymond Williams. Others you will think this meaning is given by uh, John Story, no? By Raymond Williams. First is it lacked by people. Second is inferior when you compare to uh, high, high culture, so this art and literature and philosophy and spirituality and all that. Then do something special to make things uh, like see for example, if you have popular coffee, you know, make add more sugar. Then what will happen? It becomes popular. Yes. But now these days you should be very careful when you're giving sugar, adding sugar because uh, many people after 40, they develop what is called a very beautiful disease called sweet passing through, that is diabetes. Diabetes, dia, beta means, beta means beautiful sweet, dia means through. So diabetes means sweet passing through. Therefore, don't make your coffee popular by adding too much sugar in that, okay. Then you have got people's culture, that means local, probably it's local or folk culture, that's what he is. I uh, then need to tell us. Okay. Now we have got the last but one point that is the six meanings or definitions of popular culture. Six. We have got six meanings or six definitions of, if you call it a definition, if you, or meaning, yes, six meanings of popular culture. And that is by John's story. Six meanings of six meanings of popular culture. Today this uh, blue pen is on strike. So we don't mind you will take what we call a green pen. What do you say? You like green? You say a coffin yes. Six meanings of popular culture. You see uh, one thing you must understand is the history of popular culture is the history of connecting popular with the culture. Do you understand that? <laughs> the history of popular culture is the history of or the story of connecting popular with the culture. Alright, so let us begin. The six meanings of uh, by one is well liked by people. Well liked by people. Now for this, what you have to do, you need data mining. Data mining. Like you are mining gold, you know, you can also mine data to find out. This everybody does it, you know. For example, any product, after you, you put out a product market, then after six weeks time, they, six months, and they will make data mining. How many people purchase this? What is the demand? What is the demand among the children? What is the demand among the young people? What is the demand among how high is the demand among the old people? How high is among the geriatrics? That means old people like that. Understand? If you have a if you have got a product like what is called a pain relieving thing, then naturally it will be very popular with the old people because most of these old people they suffer from some or the other kind of pain. So when like the people means you have to find out how many CDs have been sold, who purchased them, how many DVDs have been sold, whether the whether the what do you call it, the film is box office hit or not. Say Sangam for example or you know that is there is another film. Uh, there is that uh, famous Bobby Bobby, yes, that is. Hum tum ek kamare mein bandu, oh, oh, that, that kind of. So it was very popular now because it was uh, the first time probably those two characters, that is uh, the young man and the young girl. Uh, the name is, uh, what is his name, I forgot their names. One is Tungle, isn't it? And the other is one Kapoor, the youngest of the Kapoor, I think, yes. So he, he was, he, first time, they were introduced in that film. Therefore, what it became so popular. So that, that is the thing. But here there is a problem. The problem is sometimes in autocracies, dictatorships, you know, government dicta and dictatorship, the government will force people to attend certain official programs. Then if you make a head count, you cannot say whether it is popular or not. So you have to keep a, what we must say, kind of, you should, you should be careful when you think about the numbers. In autocracies, numbers, it is forced, so to say. It is, uh, what we must say, the government will send its forces to, uh, 
we ask people to come out of their homes and go for a particular cultural program because that is sponsored by government. But that kind of liking is not the thing that is intended here. That is spontaneous liking. There should be spontaneous overflow of powerful emotions. When you see a, uh, there is a definition given the poetry by Wordsworth. Wordsworth. Okay, you can uh, then the second meaning of is residual culture. Residual. Residue. What is the residue means? What is left out? Left out culture means once you left out culture, you decide what is high culture. All that is not high culture is popular culture. That's the thing. Now you say that there are half a dozen items we call high culture. Say art, literature, philosophy, spirituality. But uh, meditation, yes, then what else? Then uh, religious activities. So we said, all right. Then there are a plethora of forms of culture. It's many thousands of forms of culture, signifying practices as such. Way of life, ways of life. Seaside holiday, a celebration of Christmas, celebration of Holi, celebration of Radha Yatra, a lot of things are there. Jellicut, uh, the bullfight, and then what, what, what are we do? So, if you say that, let us say like that. You have got a circle like this, okay? And you decide that this much is high culture. This is high. Then what are, what is this? All this dotted part of this circle is popular culture. That means, this is a residue. After deciding what is high, what is remaining is popular culture. But here there is a problem. Every, every, every aspect has a problem and this is called cultural traffic. There is a cultural traffic. Traffic, you know, coming and going is traffic. Traffic is coming and going. So, uh, sometimes what happens, you know, Certain things we consider as high, then after some time it will become popular culture, like Shakespeare's place. Oh, and some of it is classical, but not popular. Snippets of Shakespeare's place are uh, presented or uh, in, even in marketplaces. It's not really in the theater. Understand that? So that is cultural traffic. Another Charles Dickens novel once considered a classic, but now it's popular. Philip Noir, and Aya, once considered as a look down upon. Something obscene, bad, but now it is art film. So both ways can happen. Something classical can become popular. Something uh, what we must say below uh, standard or something if you consider like that, that can become standard. It happens one day here in, uh, here in this part of the country that is Kerala. <laughs> so there is a film Shankara Dharma. When it was released, nobody went to see that in the theater. Theater. The producers told that they are banger. But after a few weeks, it, 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 uh, it caught up and you know, millions of rupees they could collect. And there was also a particular kind of sari, sari bow, worn by that heroine, Shankaravaranam sari. So that how popular it became. See that beginning it was unimportant, but now it has become popular and also a classic, became a classic. So that is cultural traffic. It can ca happen from, again cultural traffic can take place from high to low or low to high. You know, you remember that, uh, that the Italian singer Pavarotti, Pava, Pavarotti, isn't a very famous singer person. His performances were considered to be classical. But in 1991, exactly 1990, he, he advertised a performance in England, in, in Hyde Park. Other people were just frowning, eh? this classical uh, performance is going to be conducted in a park. Oh, it should be within the theatre. And some people said, oh, it is very nice you now that Pavarotti has become very popular. So, in that, even the same cultural form. That, that can be considered sometimes as high and sometimes as low by people. So this is cultural traffic. Sometimes high, low, and low will come high. Sometimes the same thing, some people will say high, some people will say so low. Therefore, we cannot say which is the left out culture, which is the residue of the culture. Understand?
Did you get that point? Yes. Now the third, third definition given is uh, first is well liked by people, second is receding or left out culture. Understand that? And now third definition given by this is what we call mass culture. Mass culture. Or we say American culture. American. Mass culture means you know it is produced for you for masses. Industrial culture. See one film, duplicate, in, in the thousands of copies. But in a drama performance, you know, on a stage, you cannot duplicate. The once the performance is over, it is over. But it's not like that. Zero seven or seven with love. Shrank one ways films, you know. Never say never again. That's all mass produced. See? End of the dragon, mass produced culture. Cultural form, films. So then, so thousands around the world went in huge numbers to see theatres were overcrowded, so to say. See, this is called Americanization of culture. Americanization. And uh, this mass culture is what well, this is a collective dream, so to say. Mass culture. Mass culture, actually, uh, what people say, these experts who discuss culture. The scholars who discuss culture, they say there's nothing in it except some formulas. But people go after this. They see, they get some time to spend their, spend their time after hard work in the factory. So they go there with a kind of you no know, reaction problem. They just go, they enjoy and then they come back. They are in a dream world. You know, the result is, they, by this, the capitalists can prevent revolution. And not only that, they see something, a kind of vicarious pressure they get. What they cannot do in this world, they see in this, in the screen. And they get satisfied by that. See that a working class man may not be able to go on a world tour. But you see the hero in the film going around the world, you see, a world tour. So you can see, look at this. Do you remember Sangam film, you see, immediately after the marriage of uh, the couples there, that was uh, Raj Kapoor and Vaidya and Himala. And then there is a song, you know, uh, Buddha Milgaya and so on. So they go around the world, see. How many, how many people those days could go around the world? Very few people. But when you look at that, you know, you kind of can like a vicarious person. What I cannot do, they are doing. So from there I am deriving some person. So I am satisfied, so to say. Understand that? So, mass culture always have got a negative uh, denotation. Understand? A mass culture uh, is produced. There is There's no individuality in that. There is no art uh, value in that, they say. But at the same time, you should understand that they give you a kind of, they present you a dream world. And at least for some time, say, in your life, a life that is full of difficulty and so on, you can spend some time thinking like you daydreaming. And so you will forget about all your worries. When you come back, you find you you forget how to revolt. So that is another thing. Understand that? Yes. So that is mass culture. Some people say mass culture is popular culture. And now that the fourth is fourth meaning is uh, people's culture. People's culture. What do you mean by people's culture? Here the problem is everywhere there is a problem. Here the problem is. Who, who are these people? How will you, how will you, how will you define people? Is it the local people? Is it the working class people? Or is it, the, is it the high class people? What is people's culture means? That's another thing. Then another point also is there. From where do you get these raw materials for the cultural forms to produce? The raw materials are not made by people. Means local people. They have to buy things. Say like conducting a festival, for example. You don't make all the raw materials there. But you have, to, you have to depend on the market, see? Therefore, you cannot say where the people begins and where the people ends. So it is what you call, you cannot say there is nothing called, you, we, can, we, we cannot say there is something called pure people's culture. Because the raw materials for the culture is, you have to, you, you have to depend on the market and the people, who are the people, so to say. You cannot define that. What will you say? Low class people? Middle class people? High class people? How will you say? People's culture. So that's the problem. But still, there is some sense in that. So you have, you have, you have two more 
points to discuss that we will do tomorrow. For the time being, you remember, uh, these are, first we discuss the four meanings of popular given by Williams. Isn't it? What are they? Well, like, residue, that what is the third one we saw? We saw making, deliberately making something popular. Understand? Deliberately making something popular. And there were some people's skulls. That's four meanings. And then we have produced by people. Then we have seen six meanings of popular culture given by, or six meanings of popular definitions of popular culture given by John Story. Four of them we discussed today. Tomorrow we will discuss the other two. And tomorrow what we are going to discuss is hegemony. The concept or idea of hegemony, that is uh, what we call uh, this process of disarticulation, articulation. A simple thing, articulation means you say something, disarticulation means you don't say something. <laughs> That's all. Or compromise equilibrium. These are all big words, nothing to worry about. Tomorrow we will have a discussion on those things. So with that it will be two more, it will be six. So we have got well liked people, you require data mining, but then there is a problem is the autocratic governments. Second is residue or left out culture, they have the cultural traffic is there. Sometimes residue will become high culture, sometimes the high culture will become residue. At times, like poverty uh, performances, at same thing from different angles people look, high or low. Mass culture is Americanization and the collective dream world and all those things. And if you got this defect in the, then the, your brains get numbed. You just look at this. Uh, yeah. We know only bathrooms, but in American films and in this mass culture films, you see glamour rooms. Glamour rooms. You never heard of it. Now, of course, it's becoming familiar. Yes. So there's a dream world. Yes. Then you see people's culture. There the problem is who are the people? Hmm? How do you define people? See, what kind, of, what kind of people or what kind of the population you will say people? That's the problem. And also how many deals are, you have to depend on, not your own making, but you have to depend on your own. I think now that's clear to you for the time being. For now the remaining two points and the conclusion we will be doing tomorrow. Okay? You enjoy my, my lectures on John's story and others also. I have already given lectures on Williams. Culture is ordinary, and then two paradigms by uh, Stuart Hall and uh, value, popular culture value by uh, Simon Turing. And this is the fourth. I also intend to continue this, cover the entire uh, syllabus. Especially, I am, uh, I told you, know, I am, my target is to complete all the, uh, all the items or the, all this. Uh, prescribed for Mahatma Gandhi University in Kerala. And I think that this is applicable to all the universities in India. Wherever you are, uh, you have got a paper cultural studies, I think this is applicable to, this is uh, relevant to you also. Therefore, my dear good students, thank you for listening to me and uh, I will request you to subscribe to my videos and tell your friends if it is useful to you. Otherwise, simply forget about it. Okay, bye-bye.